Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, I know it's been a while since we've done any car related content, but we do have a new video lined up for you. Um, so my car is actually due uh, a new set of tires. So as you know, this currently has the Pirelli P7 Cinturato run flat tires, which come as standard on the car. Uh, as I've mentioned before in previous videos, they're really not performance orientated at all. Um, so the time has come because the fronts are now well and truly worn out. So I will be in the next couple of weeks getting uh, some Michelin Pilot Sport 4s fitted uh, on all four corners. So hopefully that's going to make a good difference. So obviously one of the main bits that wears down on the tyre is actually the shoulder. And that's because essentially when you corner, this is obviously the bit that rolls over uh, with the sidewall um, into the turns. As you can see from the shots, the shoulder is uh, pretty worn out at this point. The actual tread depth's okay for now, I've still got a few weeks left. Uh, but yeah, they're definitely due for replacement. Uh, the rears, as you can see, are pretty much good condition, to be honest. Um, they don't really lose too much tread depth. Obviously, on a front-wheel drive car, they tend to just trail behind. They don't really take too much of the cornering force. Um, but I will be changing all four, obviously, just uh, that's the best way to go. Yeah, so obviously, one of the things I mentioned in previous videos is that um, the tyres that the JCWs come with from factory are just a run-flat tyre. And they're, honestly, they're really not very good performance tyres, as you'd probably expect. Um, again, as I've mentioned before, I don't really know why manufacturers do this, um, especially on the likes of the JCW. So it's one thing that I've always had on the cards to change, but there's kind of no point changing them until they've worn out really, um, because for day-to-day -day use, they're generally okay. So the run-flat tyres have quite a stiff sidewall, um, which is essentially how they work as run-flats, because that means when you've got no air in the tyre, it can still support the weight of the car. One of the main sort of downsides of that is that it makes it quite a stiff ride, um, especially through uh, potholes, which we have a lot of in the UK, obviously. Um, so I'm hoping that with some new tyres, the, the ride might slightly improve. So generally it handles okay um, on the standard run flats. You do just get a little bit of like lean um, and you don't always have very good grip. I find that in the wet, they do tend to slip quite easily. Again, I think that's partially down to the stiff side walls. It can't properly dig into the tarmac. So obviously the PS4 is a, a much more performance oriented tire. So that should give a little bit more grip. Um, and I mean, you know, not that these temperatures are, not that these tires are really getting up to much heat, but it should uh, mean that they're more usable all, all times of year, really. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, it's a couple of weeks later now, and I'm pleased to say I've got four brand new Michelin Pilot Sport 4s fitted on all four corners. Um, and I mean, I just want to start this part of the video by saying it is a massive difference. Um, it's literally night and day between the run flats that I had on before and these Michelin PS4s. So to start off then, um, I actually decided to stick in the end with the uh, same width tire. So that's a 205. Um, some people have upgraded the widths on these JCWs to a 215, but um, to be honest, it, you know that extra 10 millimeters of width on each tire, um, 
I don't think it's going to make a huge difference, especially for the type of driving I do. So in the end, I decided to stick, decided to stick with the uh, 205s. Um, so first of all, then, you know, one of the major differences, literally from the moment I started driving this car, uh, was the ride comfort. Now we're going over a few potholes now, as you can probably hear, um, and it is just so much smoother through them. We're talking, you know, when you had the run flats on, there would be a massive shudder and just a thud and it just overall just wasn't very pleasant. Um, but with this, it, the ride is just so much better. So one of the other differences I've noticed um, is the car just feels so much more agile when it's at the limit. Um, before, with the run flats that I had on, it just didn't really feel, it just felt really soft at the limit as if it could have just gone at any moment kind of thing. The traction brake with this is much more progressive. Um, that is one of the things I've noticed straight away. With the run flats, you tend to find that it wasn't very clear where the sort of limit of traction was anyway, but when it did brake, um, it was often quite sudden. In addition to the increased agility those PS4s bring to the car, one of the other things is definitely increased corner and grip. Um, even now, I've had these tyres on for about a week. Um, I've probably done a good couple of hundred miles on them. And honestly, I still haven't found the proper limit of traction in the dry. Um, it's a huge difference. It just feels much more adjustable on the limit. So before it would kind of, you'd get up to the limit and it would just start to understeer and you know, any, at any moment it felt as if the front end could just go and just completely wash out. Whereas with these PS4s, it's much more precise, you know, it's much more defined. Um, and it just doesn't feel sloppy and sort of spongy on the limit as well. So chuck it into around about here. It's a little bit damp, so no understeer there. In the wet, okay, in the wet. It's really, really impressive. Um, I'm gonna come up to a road in a minute, it's National Speed Limit Road, and I'm gonna do a launch from a standstill with traction control fully off, and I'm gonna show you the difference. So I'm gonna do a launch now with these PS4s and you're gonna see what they're like. I'm gonna launch fairly softly because it is very wet. There we go, we hooked up. That's flat on the floor. So I mean, that is just instant traction. I had to modulate it a little bit in first, but we're talking, you know, it's really quite wet on the roads. Um, 230 brake horsepower. It's, it's not loads, but it's definitely enough to break the tires loose. So a little bit of modulation in first gear, into second, steady away, but then it was flat on the floor. Uh, and into third as well. I mean, the traction is just ridiculous. In the run flats, it would have been spooling up every gear, just even into third gear, there would have been a lot of slip. Okay, so what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna take on to a little bit of a back road, um, some more sort of tight and twisty stuff. So the main thing, I just, I just wanna see how it basically holds through the turns and hooks up out the corners, because it is quite twisty and some of it is second gear. Okay, so here we are then on that B road. It's not brilliant. There's a bit of building work going on down here at the moment. So this first bit is quite slippy. It's hooking up fine in third gear there. No slip at all. And there is actual surface water as well. Yeah, that is really impressive wasn't braking traction at all. So I'm coming up to a second gear bit now, just see what this is like. Barely any wheel spin. On the floor again. Very, very impressive that. I'll be honest, I did not realise simply a tyre change would have this much of a difference on the handling of the car. Um, obviously I'd always said the run flats weren't great and there's something I wanted to change, but um, Honestly, the difference is just night and day, as I said. Got another little bit of B road here. It's a slightly faster stretch. Um, should test it a bit. Again, full traction there, second gear in the wet. Slightly difficult elevation change. Pitching it in. No understeer at all. Oh, that is impressive. 
Okay, so I think we've pretty much concluded there that you know the traction is greatly, greatly improved, um, even in these conditions where it's wet. The road surfaces really aren't great. There's quite a lot of potholes around, so it's skipping over those bumps and there's braking traction. Um, but honestly, these PS4s do a great job of just maintaining that traction, even when it's the worst conditions. I have driven this car mostly in the dry. This is only like the second sort of journey that I've done in the wet. I can say that in the dry is just a massive difference. You've got significantly more grip, the limit. Um, it really doesn't break loose at all. And I mean, from a standstill again, it, it just hooks up and goes. Okay, so we talked a bit about then the, uh, the wet grip and the dry grip. Um, and I mentioned before about how much better this thing is through uh, potholes now we've got those Pilot Sport 4s on. Uh, one of the other things I wanted to mention was that the road noise as well has significantly decreased. Now I'm no expert on uh, sort of tyre technology and the engineering behind them, but uh, the first thing that comes to mind is that's probably due to the softer sidewall, which just allows a bit more cushioning between sort of the actual alloy wheel and the road surface. So I've noticed that pretty much on every road surface this car is quieter and noticeably quieter as well, not just tiny amounts, uh, which just makes the whole sort of ride comfort a lot better um, and it's just more enjoyable to drive. So I mean, for example, this surface here is it's quite a rough road surface as are a lot of the ones that we have in the UK. And I can honestly say that this is just so much better to drive down roads like this. Uh, now I've got those new PS4s on, it's just so much quieter. Now don't get me wrong, this isn't the quietest car in the world. The actual interior and the sort of sound insulation fit to these mini JCWs isn't the best. You know, it's not the most expensive car in the market. It's not going to be S-Class sort of quality, but it is a lot better with those new tyres on. So I also wanted to talk a bit about the actual tyre structure of the Pilot Sport 4s. Um, I'll overlay some B-roll now so you can kind of see what they look like. And you'll notice there's a much sort of more pronounced leading edge to the tyre. It's a much bigger shoulder. And as I mentioned in the first part, that obviously tends to be the sort of leading edge into a corner. So that takes a lot of the brunt of the cornering force. Um, so that extra width of the shoulder just means that the grip is greatly improved. But obviously as you sort of go up the range and as you sort of get to the likes of the Pilot Sport Cup 2s, you'll see that shoulder just gets increasingly larger. And obviously that's more of a track day tyre um, and it provides a hell of a lot more grip than these PS4s do. I would suggest if any of you are actually interested in more on the uh, tyres themselves, I would suggest heading over to the YouTube channel Tyre Reviews. Jonathan Benson who runs that channel knows a hell of a lot about tyres and he'll be able to explain a lot more than I ever will. And it is interesting, they do a lot of tests uh, showing the differences between, you know, there might be three different types of Michelin tyre, for example. Um, and honestly, I did look into quite a few of those videos before buying my PS4s to find out which was best. I'll link that channel in the description below so you can go and check it out if you want to. So guys, that's the end of the video there. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video and it gave you a bit more information about the Michelin Pilot Sport 4s and the differences against the standard run flats and to be honest, just run flats in general that are fitted to a hell of a lot of cars these days. Um, so as a conclusion, I mean, I honestly cannot recommend switching away from run flats if you do have them fitted to your car. The difference is just insane. Um, it, like I said, you know, it's a night and day difference. Um, so much more enjoyable to drive it's just improved across the board so yeah uh, be sure to subscribe for plenty more videos to come i'm um, hoping to get a lot more car stuff on this channel over the next year or so i know we've done some sort of random videos in between but um trying to get some new stuff uh, maybe even get a couple of extra reviews on there so make sure you subscribe drop any comments below that you have and uh, we'll see you in the next one thanks for watching